Love Island is a show that's been captivating the nation. Um, can you talk about what it's like to be a part of that, that, that level of hysteria surrounding the show? It's, it's overwhelming and surreal, um, but it's incredible. The whole, the whole journey for me in there was an incredible one, and there was a lot of self-discovery within it and just learning different things about yourself. And so um, I'm glad I kind of came out when I did because it, I believe that I'm a strong believer in when it's your time, it's your time. And that was my time. I had a good run in there. I made some incredible friends, and now I'm a free single man on the outside. Outside world. I mean, people always talk about that learning about themselves. What do you think you have actually learned about yourself? Or what's the biggest lesson you've learned about yourself being in that environment? For me, it is that I can keep a cool and calm head when drama is kicking off, and that I can also voice my opinion in a way that is kind of controlled and articulated in a sense where I get my words out and I'm not just screaming and, and losing my head. For me, I went in for the overall experience. I wanted to see, I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. I wanted to potentially find love because ITV thought that they could do that for me. Um, but I think obviously, as the series go on, there's more people that are continuing to watch the show and want to be a part of it for whatever reason. So I guess we've got to be mindful of that. But at the same time, it's an incredible experience that not many people would get. So it's just one that any anyone would go for just to see what it's like in there. I think it's genuinely possible to find love on the show because so few of the previous couples and there haven't been a lot of stable couples this year either. I think Jack and Danny are a prime example of people that have naturally fallen for each other. I was in there for a month, I watched their feelings grow and it was a beautiful thing to see. Um, and there aren't many couples in previous years but there are still a few couples that are going strong that are getting married from the show. So if at least one couple comes out finding love then I think that's a pretty great thing. This series in particular has had a little bit of flack for the use of video clips, you know, people being shown stuff that's going on in other locations and sometimes selectively shown things that are happening. I mean, again, how do you feel about that? Because I think some people were kind of concerned that, you know, that you know, sort of borders a little bit close on emotional manipulation and, you know, messes people's heads a bit. It's a difficult one. We were always told before we went into the villa that we're going to be tested within our couples and in our relationships. Um, and the videos that have been shown are nothing that didn't happen, you know, they're nothing that none of us didn't see and so therefore you're left to your own devices in the villa and when you're confined to the villa your mind plays tricks on you but I don't think it is it was bad in any way because that is the whole point of the show to test us in our relationships and see if we have that trust in our other half. I want to continue to model I went in there and model and I left the model um, now I have a platform I really want to do some charity work and present around those aspects of charity I want to get involved in a kids charity an ocean conservation charity and a dogs charity because I love dogs I mean you talk about ocean conservation that's been a really big thing in 2018 why do you think we seem to have finally woken up to the importance of that because without our oceans we wouldn't be here and be able to survive and I think that there's over 8 million tonnes of plastic being dumped into our ocean per year and that is a huge amount and all, all the natural habitats within the ocean are dying out and we can't let that happen. So it's becoming a forefront topic because it needs to be one.